What's up fishing addicts on today's video I'll be showing you guys how to fillet a perch uh, I already um, uh, removed the scales the reason I do that is because I love eating the skin so like I said just to save time I have already uh, removed the scales and this was what I was using so what I like to do is just cut it pretty much uh, this is how I fillet uh, walleye too so just cut it to the rib cage of course use a sharper knife than what I have uh, this one's pretty dull I've been cleaning fish for a couple of days and it doesn't cut through once you uh, get to the end of the uh, fins put the knife straight through face it down and just go through with the backbone so you get a nice fillet once you open it I do not like the uh, belly meat so what I do is I'll just cut it but if you wanna uh, butterfly it you just go around it and uh, just cut the anal cavity or whatever you wanna call it so this is it and we'll get to it in a second so we'll just put it on the side and uh, this was a female well most of my fish uh, there were females today I only had two males put the egg sac on the side we'll repeat the same process bring it through cut it Except my knife is real dull. Should have sharpened it, but either way, you go through the same way. Hold it, and this one just glide it through, following the backbone. Get a nice fillet. Like I said, uh, I do not like the belly meat. So I'll just cut it right below the ribs and get rid of the... And uh, what you get is this. Pretty much uh, just nothing on it. And I'll toss this out. And now, uh, at this point, if it was for me, I'll be done with it. The little uh, rib cage over here it's not that uh, a big deal for me once you fry it uh, it's uh, crispy almost eating like uh, chips but uh, my wife is a picky eater so uh, I'll show you how you guys can remove it I grab it and also it's a good idea never leave the this white stuff on there it, it has a very bitter aftertaste same thing uh, the reason a lot of people do not like carp and catfish is because they don't remove this and it tastes muddy so what you do is you just go right by the ribs with a sharp knife mine is not that sharp but it will still do the trick so you just glide it through Well, you just cut it you get a you get a very thin slice you can almost see through it and this way you do not waste any meat leave it on the side move the this one's gonna be washed for fillet and this one put it this way I like to use a fork just to hold it um, I'm actually very tired I can barely keep my thoughts straight 
so I like to use a fork and it just helps me guide the knife as well. Just make a nice thin cut. This one didn't end up that well, but oh well. Beautiful, another beautiful fillet. And uh, there's not much of meat left on this one. Just a little bit over here, but like I said, I'm very tired. Uh, I've been fishing two days in a row straight, waking up early and uh, going to bed late. Well, like I said, I've been pretty tired uh, two days in a row. I've been fishing, waking up uh, pretty early. And uh, I guess it's very very tired so I did uh, make a couple more mistakes but it's just a very tiny bit of meat. Uh, that said I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot and um, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that like button I'll catch you guys on the water.